Hello, welcome to my video. Um, you all know how to download a document from a document library. So all you have to do is select the document and click on the download button. Or you hover over this three dotted icon against the document, select that and you can find a menu called drop down uh, icon. So you can select this option, the document will try to download like how it's showing here. Okay. Um, it may be easy for us, uh, but some of uh, my viewers and some of my subscribers are messaging me to make a video saying like some of their, their end users are difficult, you know, finding it difficult to download the documents and uh, you know some of the very recently like, like a newbie trying to use the SharePoint are struggling to find where the download buttons are. Instead of uh, two clicks, they're asking how about if they have just one click and download. So. I was thinking how we can address this issue. Um, so I was thinking how can we like uh, create a, a download button kind of uh, an option against each and every document that will allow them to just click that in one single click, the download action will start to appear and they have to just save it to their computer. So um, let's do that. I will show you how to do that. Uh, we have to take use of uh, a little bit of JSON. Okay, so I will show you the JSON. So. So this is the JSON code that we have to add to one of the column, okay? So this is uh, pretty much straight. We are creating an, uh, an anchor tag and tell, uh, telling the text as download. And I'm putting some background color and, you know, text some uh, alignment and font size and padding. And once they click and it should open in the same window and I'm referring to the same documents down as a download source. So this is the code. Uh, There's an internal code. You don't need to memorize this. I will post this. Uh, I will put this in the video description. So what we have to do is just copy this code and go back here. I'm going to add one single column, a single line text column. Yeah. So add a column and click single line of text. You give a name as you like, uh, download here, or something or something like download and click save. So we just created a single line text column. Okay. Then after that, go to your list settings, click on this gear icon and the library settings. Okay, come down and go to that, choose the column that you just created, the download, click that. And you'll go to the column settings. Okay, you don't need to do anything, come down and find an area called column formatting. Okay, you know the one you just co copied from the JSON, you're just going to paste it. And that's it, nothing else and you hit save, click OK, you're going to come back and go to this document library again and now you can see the, the option that we are, the download option that we created is showing up. So once if you select the download, it will open up and voila, it just shows up. You can just directly download. Okay, let's pick the next one. Yeah, it's appearing. and it's appearing cool so let's do another trick for example you have like so many number of columns and uh, for example um, this column download is at the very end of this column and the user have to scroll down horizontally to see what is the document that i'm downloading it will be difficult so uh, instead of this word download uh, how about can you just show the file name instead so if it's the new ppt dot pptx so that should show in the download option a download button instead of the word download okay that's also easy so you go to the same list settings again okay go to that column download okay expand so instead of this word download we're going to put the dynamic column name for that file so copy this one called file ref okay in including the brackets and I'm going to replace this and instead of this dollar file ref the code is dollar file leaf ref that's it so instead of this file ref you're going to add a uh, an insert a word called leaf in between file and ref so two brackets dollar file leaf ref that's it so this will show the document name instead of the word download okay we can click okay 
I'm going back to the documents, document library. And now you can see the actual down document name is showing over here. So similar action, if you click, it will try to download the actual file. So yeah, that's it. So this is how you directly show uh, instead of a two-step process, if you can show it as a, as a download option, they can able to click here and able to download the file directly. So hopefully this will be helpful for many of the end users, especially people who are starting to use modern SharePoint site. This will, they will find this really helpful. So hope you find this helpful for your, your video in your work also. So if you like it, please hit the uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.